Hello, today we're going to see how to connect up a client computer, like a workstation, Windows 8, Windows 7, something like that, to our server. Okay, we're going to be doing it in Hyper-V and we're also going to get some extra benefits of how to actually connect up within Hyper-V if you were without a router, for example. Okay, that'll be an add-on towards the end. In the meantime, let's focus on how to actually connect up Windows 8. Okay, we have one here. This is our server virtual machine. Minimize that. And we have our Windows 8 over here. We're already connected, but we're now going to show you how it's done. Okay. All right. Over here in Active Directory, as we've got Active Directory running, let's create a new user. Okay. There we go. All right, you could create this anywhere within it. Okay, we have quite a few organizational units. So use over here, etc., etc. And in this test GPO, let's create a new user. Let's say web or video. Video, good. Login, video. All right, next. All right. We'll get rid of that because I don't want to spend the time having to change the password when we are doing this video. But normally you would try and ask your users to change the password. Okay, just give it something simple. Okay, that's fine. Brilliant. We now have a user video. Okay, let's minimize this. Go into our Windows 8 option. Okay, obviously you've installed Windows 8. And now we want to go here. The simplest way to do it is to go to Control Panel. Click on that. There are other few shortcuts, but this is the one that always stays with me. Click on System. Click on System again. Okay, change settings. Basically, we need to be joining a domain. Okay, we've joined already, but I'll show you how it's done again. All right. Okay, because we're joined to the domain, it's actually asking for an administrator username and password. It's a good idea to change the administrator username but as we're just using this as a demo system ah. there we go all right very nice click on network id or you could do it over here basically you're clicking on domain writing the domain name in and then going ahead all right or this is another way this computer is part of a visit network Happy, happy, happy. Click, click, click. Go forward. You'll need your username, password, and account. What was the thing we had before? Video. Password, obviously. That's what we entered. Domain.com. All right, click next. With a bit of luck, it should find me. Yay! Would you like to use this? Of course I would. Access is denied. Ah. There we go. Hmm. I know what this is. Let's go over here. Ding, 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 ding. Into the server. Give this user a bit more power. Okay, to make it simple, let's give this an admin name. Okay. Okay, this one now has administrator powers video. Okay, back to where we were before. Oh, no, not server. Back to Windows 8. All right, let's click over here. I will cancel it and then just do it over here. Okay. Would you like to use this? Yes. There we go. Perfect. Okay, it's because of the powers I'd given, the username, nothing major. Add the following domain, user account, yes, 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 happy, happy, happy. Now you can choose what kind of um, power you want this user to have. Administrator, standard user, they're quite nice if you don't want to 
have too many changes going on or you could go all the way down to users okay let's click next finish okay restart now I'll just pause this video because we don't want to wait two minutes for this to restart whilst you're just looking at the screen so oops, here we go all right pause and I'll be back in a minute but you just keep watching it'll come back okay we're back that was about two or three minutes it took to boot up obviously as you know we're operating a couple of OS's on the same computer so things are a little bit slow sometimes but not too slow okay so we just happily log in and I have a feeling this is now gonna create a an account it'll go through all those little funny colored screens and that'll take another few minutes <coughs> let's just yeah there we go the high it's the same as starting up okay I'll pause it again and I'll be back to show you after it's gone into the desktop or the start menu and I'll show you then all right probably another two minutes you just hang on in a second we'll be back for you okay we're back all right there we go and it took the time because it creates a new account with all its new settings etc etc even on a completely empty OS with no programs installed on top of the basic Windows 8 okay so this is how we have joined up the computers now what did I mention earlier about how to connect up without using a router okay it's actually quite simple but it can be quite irritating if we were to look at here okay this is basically my Wi-Fi that has a router on it and this is a LAN without any router connected to it is just the card okay the NIC all right so I'm gonna disable okay sorry I'm gonna disable this to prove a point okay that's that disable it okay okay there we go okay happy 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 all right that is now disabled now this is just operating off the NIC okay the network inter interface card if we look at it these are things that I have set up I've set up the IP address I've given a static IP address I've given a subnet I've given the default gateway this default gateway is the IP address running on the host system of that network card okay so we're basically trying to link computer to computer okay back to that okay if I show you uh, what was I gonna do all right properties okay okay we go in here and we go to properties as you can see I've set all these things up myself okay now let's just try and remember it okay what we've done we've created a number here and then we've got a number here and we've got the default gateway as the IP address of the host computer not the Windows 2012 R2 server running in the VM the host computer and the DNS server is the IP address off the virtual machine server okay let's see if I was to do obtain an IP address automatically click that click that close close and then let's see if it actually can connect up to our network 
and as you can see it's having difficulty okay if we were to go back into that control panel little technique that we had before trying to join up a username let's see if it can find something still hasn't joined okay wait for a control panel ah, sorry it doesn't like to open two windows at the same time all right system and security system okay all right so what we need to do now is join back up and how do we do that we click on properties IP version 4 okay no we need to actually create our own IP address and link it in with the existing system one six nine two five four one okay now 200 is the host computers static IP address 201 is Windows Server 2012 R2 operating on the virtual machine and 2002 will be this Windows 8 guest that's created default gateway we're going back to the original computer which is 169 the host computer 2541 what did I say earlier 200 DNS address is 169 2541 201 which is our Windows Server 2012 R2 IP address validate these settings upon exit click OK can you see it's not joined yet but when we click in a second we'll slowly get there amazing let's see if this finds any problems It shouldn't. It should come back and say everything's happy dory. Okie dokie. Quickly. Good. There we go. See, everything couldn't identify the problem. Everything was okay. All right. Now we've joined up. What we want to do is go back in to here and create. Or actually log back in okay let's go over here which is video this sometimes doesn't work where you actually need to restart the whole thing or sign out and then things come back in we'll give it a shot just in case it's always worth a try Let's see. I have a feeling it's not. So we'll just sign out in a minute. Yeah, that didn't. If it goes to the second stage, generally things are a problem. Sign out. Okay, let's try. Often it takes a full restart. Okay. All right. What was it? Video. And and with a bit of luck, ooh, ooh, ooh. I have a feeling it's going to have to be a full restart. No. Lucky! It found it, it connected up. Okay. That generally happens. All these things happen generally because of all these network settings being set up. It takes time to get settled in and all that stuff. Okay. All right. That's why sometimes you need a full reset. Okay. It's as simple as that. And that's the end of our video.